Not even the depths of hell could have forged a diamond this special. Morning. What's up, everybody? I got my main puppy here, and uh, we're at the store getting ready to uh, getting ready to get loaded. Uh, let me help out Peg real quick. Hang on one second. So I'm thinking if you come in, if you come in at an angle, or what I could do is I could take my Moffat off and pick up one side, pick up that side. Oh, all right. You want me to guide you in? Do you want me to guide you in? Okay. All right. So you got to come in like from right to left. So that that right front corner needs to be in there first. And then what you do is you turn the machine and it'll pick it up. Yep. Yep. Here you go. Yep. You're good. Just come in straight. Straighten your wheel. Straighten your wheel. So basically we don't want that to overhang. And of course it's starting to rain. You're good. Come in straight. All right, lift up. Uh, come in straight. All right, start to wait. Pick up, pick up, up, up. All right, turn your wheel right. There you go. You got it. You got it. Hard. All right, stop. Now back it up to your left. I don't think this is going to work, Peg. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm a, I'll just jump on the moth. I'll pick up that side real quick. So I had the Moffat warming up. So this guy has a lot of stuff and he's uh, rebuilding the gas station. So uh i dropped off some material you guys probably already seen the video the other day but um, i dropped off some material in the dirt on uh i think that's route two if i'm not mistaken so that should have been a fun and interesting time seat belt on for safety uh but Shift all the way to left. Uh, let me see how far away she is. Set my brakes, set my stabilizers down. Go forward, I'm gonna lift clean up. Hang on one sec, Peg. You're good. As I pick up my stabilizers, I'm gonna pick up my forks as well. Because if not, the forks will be really high up and dig it into the material if I don't, so. That's called teamwork. Teamwork make the dream work. 
So yeah, I called that customer exactly at 6 a.m. to let them know I was gonna be there, probably about a half an hour or so. But I know it's been way more than a half an hour or so. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chain up the moffet first so I don't forget about it because I have a tendency to do that. So, chain that up, throw my straps over. Um, I don't know why my pocket feels heavy this morning. Like I got, like I got pockets full of corn or something. I don't know. It's crazy. So, oh uh, man. But yeah, I got a puppy with me today and I got him his cute little Carhartt jacket from a tractor supply. If you if you haven't got your dog one or your furry your furry companion one yet, I suggest you go ahead and do so now before they before they uh who's this? Hang on one second y'all. Good morning, this is Mike. Yeah, I got you. We just got the last chunk on, so I'm about to leave the store right now. As soon as I'm done throwing five more straps, and I'll be there. I'm sorry? All right, cool beans. Yeah, I should be there. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally throwing the straps right now. All right, no problem. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. What's up? Got a green coat on. Yeah, he got a Carhartt jacket. Really? Yeah, I bought. It. I was just, I was just telling the, 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 the viewers that I just got him a Carhartt jacket from Tractor to Supply. I got him a cute little raincoat. Uh, not a raincoat. Uh, I got him an ugly Christmas sweater too. I got, I got him an ugly Christmas sweater and uh, I think it was um, a, a reversible blue on one side, orange on the other side um down jacket <laughs> but his carhartt his carhartt jacket has uh has cute little utility pockets and everything on it yeah yep i paid 40 bucks for that jacket but i, I had to get it so now i gotta go out i'll probably go to like harbor freight or something get him like a cute little tool set or something and stick like a little hammer and maybe like yeah like a well no he's gonna he's gonna be robin for halloween what? he's gonna be robin for halloween like batman and robin really? yeah so um yeah so he's gonna be you better put pictures of him on your youtube well, yeah i already got videos of him on youtube yeah puppy see how quickly he comes <laughs> yeah that day i went out we were supposed to go to yankee candle and there was just so much traffic on 95 that we turned back around went to a different yankee candle and then decided to go to tractor supply to get him a toy and then somebody at tractor supply was like oh we got the we got the outfits and stuff now and we were we went looking for them and then sure enough they had a ugly sweater they had the reversible down coat and then they had uh it was red it was uh all mostly green with uh like red and green like little um uh probably like spruces or evergreens or something like that on it whatever they i i don't know i'm not a I'm not a professional when it comes to identifying trees or anything. So, yeah. And Saturday night, I was just getting out the car. I was texting my brother to let him know I got home safe. And I tripped over my uh, my damn hitch rack on the back of the Subaru. <laughs> Fell right on my right knee. Now I feel like, now I feel like I need to be on hospice. This is, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's horrible. It's horrible, just put me out of my misery, damn. Yeah, so, that guy, I didn't realize I've been here for an hour already. Yeah, we've been out here for like 
though. Yeah. Yeah, I've been out here for an entire hour. I didn't even know it. Yeah, it's all right, cause you. Yeah, you right. But I was trying to. The Dunkin' Donuts I go to every morning, they were closed this morning for some reason. I don't know. And so now I'm running on empty. Huh? Yeah. Yep. So they were closed this morning, and they. Uh, then I was just like, oh, you know, I'll stop off at the Dunkin' Donuts up here. But I was just like, I don't know. Cause I know they have a drive-through, but I don't know what's the height of their drive-through and I'm not gonna risk it with the rig. Yeah. I mean, I, I've, I've driven through drive-throughs with this thing. The, the Dunkin' Donuts on Coleman Street in Waterford. Yep. I go to that drive-through with this. And people get upset at me because I, I take the place of like six cars, but I'm like, I ordered ahead. Yeah, it has like a little overhang or something. Yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, uh, I don't think that big because I, when when I come through people who like normally don't work morning shifts are like what the hell's going on and I'm just like uh how about America runs on Duncan and I'm American Duncan, so yeah Duncan, just Duncan, yeah well yeah they they changed it you know they're right? yeah I mean it's it's kind of uh it's kind of like one of those things where it's kind of like it doesn't need to be said but they're going ahead and saying it anyway just like jeez oh man so yeah after here i got like a couple more stops i got i gotta go to lisbon and then the, i think the one that's going to dudley mass is coming from Wyndham. how where how far is that um uh, i don't know i know it's across the border <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know right i know right i gotta i gotta prove to trump that just because i'm brown i i, I belong here damn it <laughs> all right thanks peg i appreciate it yeah that's peggy she's great so yeah we're about to finish getting this stuff strapped down and uh this is me sketches because I, I called the customer this morning at 6 a.m and i let them know that you know i was going to be there probably about a half an hour or so but i didn't realize how long it was going to take to get everything ready and uh because those LVLs weren't, um, they weren't banded. So they weren't banded together. So um, Peggy took the time out of her morning to band them together. I didn't realize that she was gonna do that. I thought she was just gonna throw them up there. But it just shows that Peggy cares, you know? She cares about our safety. So she, uh, where I put my bar? Oh, down there. So yeah, so she uh, had banded those together just so that I could pick it all up in one shot and I don't gotta worry about stuff sliding off of one another or whatever. And uh, that was probably about, I've been here probably about an hour already because I got here at like 5.50 and their clock doesn't start until six. So I know it's probably seven o'clock right now, if not a little bit over. Ugh. Yeah, so. Just crank it down these last couple of straps. Uh, leave it down in the comment section how your morning is going. Mine is cold, wet, and rainy. And uh, make sure you guys smash that like button for Peggy. Uh, you could smash it for me if you'd like to. Uh, that would be appreciated. But if not, I understand. But Peggy's amazing, so she deserves a like. Uh, make sure you leave a comment, a nice comment for Peggy down below. And uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm going to get this snugged up. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.